Hey, good morning from Smoker Builder HQ. Uh, I'm Frank Cox. Uh, this is SmokerBuilder.com, and what we do is we teach people how to build smokers and all kinds of barbecue pits and things like that. And uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, but this is one of our how-to videos uh, where we give you a little tip or something, something that I got to do during the day on my normal day-to-day -day job building these pits that uh, I think you'll find useful. And so I try to keep these videos pretty short, so I'm going to go pretty quick. Good thing about YouTube is you can rewind and fast forward and pause. So, um, so in the last uh, oh eight or ten hours or so, I put this pit together here. This is a reverse flow on a trailer. You can't see the whole pit. Uh, this is a 24 by 48 reverse flow with the warming cabinet and firebox, and uh, it's mounted on a little 2,000 pound trailer. It's not a very heavy one. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm to the point now to where I've got to cut my door and I want to find top dead center on this door and I've got this cool little kit here. I bought this on Amazon.com. If you go to SmokerBuilder.com at the very bottom of the page in the footer you'll see a little link to uh, SmokerBuilder.com something like uh, Smoker Building Supplies or something. That's a YouTube store and what it is basically is just a whole bunch of links to products on there. You're not buying them from me. It's just a handy place for you to go and find them. Um, I think this is in that store, but this is called a center head square kit. And uh, of course, this is the center head square. This is an angle finder, and this is just a traditional square, and it's got this little ruler with it. <clears throat> and then I use a torpedo level. This one's got a magnet under it, and a four foot level. Um, so the first step in this process is you want to make sure that the cooker is level, left to right, so that uh, we get the right twist on the cook chamber. Um, so I already did that. This level here says we're dead on. I just used a jack on the floor underneath of the axle and I raised it up on the side that was low. And then the only thing you're going to need in this kit is this center head square and this ruler. So I'm going to put the rest of this kit over here. These things just slide in. Let's see it. I haven't put this together yet, so make sure I do it right here. Just got a little notch. You slide it through there and you tighten this little screw down and what I usually do is whatever my arc is I'll run this I'll loosen this up and I'll run this down to where the center part of it touches the top of the cook chamber now you're looking at it from the side but what you'll do is you'll just once you get this on the cook chamber you'll slide this left to right with this level on it and so what will happen I'll turn it sideways for you when you stick this magnetic level on there, you'll see this top bubble, that's plumb. And so if you, if you rock it side to side like that, that bubble will move. Once you get that bubble top dead center where it's plumb, make a mark right at the edge of this, right at the edge of this uh, straight edge there. Conveniently, I don't have my marker on me. Thought of everything but that. But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do here in just a minute. I'm gonna run this around that arc, the curve of the tank, until this level gets plumb and when that's plumb I know that's the top dead center of this tank so anyway uh, once I get that mark made I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna do the same thing on this end then I'm gonna draw a line with my straight edge if you want your door cut at top dead center that's where you'll mark that's where you'll cut it sometimes on our smoker plans if you buy a set of our plans we're gonna run that cut that top dead center cut we're gonna run it back a little bit farther like two inches before uh, on the back side of the uh, top dead center. And the main reason we do that is just so you can reach in farther, you know, you can, it just got more access primarily. It doesn't hurt the operation of the cooker at all. Um, you know, and, and uh, so anyway, that, one of these center squares, this one here wasn't very much, is like, is less than $100. Um, you can get really high precise ones and stuff, but you don't really need it for just doing this. So anyway, hope that helps and uh, Check out our forum, smokerbuilder.com. If you want to see some of my picks, uh, I'm a lot. I'm really active on uh, Instagram. That's a great place to find me. You can just type in smokerbuilder and search for users, and you'll find me. Anyway, uh, happy barbecue, happy building pits, Viva Barbecue.